So my system's uh, pressure went down uh, pretty far. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna change the tips. All of these, I'm gonna change all these tips that are in here uh, to a little bit of smaller one. Uh, I'm turning it into a 450 gallon package, which means it does four, it's gonna let out 450 gallon, gallons per minute. So I'm gonna get this done. Gotta go all the way down the row. And after I'm done with all of that, then I'm gonna pressure it up and see if that fixes the problem. Come on. It's been uh, windy probably for like four weeks straight now. Uh, it's one, been one of the windiest years that I've farmed. Uh, not all days are too bad, but most, a lot of the days have been like 45 to 50 mile an hour gusts all day long. And I mean, it's just been a little bit miserable, the wind. This is my peanut field here, and uh, I'll show you a peanut that I dug up. Somewhere here, oh there he is. It's got a little bit of a stinger already. So they'll probably be up by, uh, they'll probably come up next week sometime. And uh, pretty excited about that. This is my first year I'm growing peanuts. Hopefully I'll make some good, uh, make some good pounds, grow some healthy good peanuts. And uh, my dry land I'm gonna spray cause all those weeds are getting a bit out of hand. So I'm gonna spray all those weeds, kill it all, and start off with a clean field. I haven't planted any cotton yet. Um, yesterday I was uh, relisting some beds over there where it blew from the neighbor over there. He, he, his field is dry land as well. And it just blew like crazy. And it blew on top on onto mine because we kept having those south winds. And so I relisted some beds over there yesterday, and then all of a sudden I felt my tractor pull to one side. And I thought maybe my rig had a flat and it dipped in the ground so much because it was pulling and it kind of sounded like air was blowing out so I picked up my listing rig and then I as I, as I picked it up I heard the wind uh, the blowing of the air got worse so I was like what the heck's going on and then uh, when my rig is up when I finally lifted it one of the oil fields gas lines I guess from the wind or from the rain that we've been getting maybe bulged up or something I don't know maybe it warped or something from the rain 
or something, the hole or something. I don't know what happened. Anyway, my listing rig hooked it, and I was only going about a foot deep, and they're supposed to be. The lines that they put in are supposed to be four foot deep. And I ripped the ripped that gas line in half. It was just a I think it's just a poly pipe. And that had a lot of pressure, so the gas was spraying everywhere, so I had to hurry up and get out of there because it's poison gas. So I hurried up and got out of there and I called them. So I don't know if they're gonna come fix it today or not, but hopefully, cause I mean, well, it, it's not spraying gas anymore. They got safety valves in them, but still, they should fix stuff like that right away. Well, maybe they already did fix it. I don't know. It's right over there by that power line pole with the two coils or whatever you call them so yeah I'm gonna hurry up and do this here and I'll pressure it up and then I'll see if uh, if that'll fix the problem with the low pressure it's, it's, bit, it's a bit chilly this morning that's why I'm wearing a jacket I mean I guess that rain is just uh, I guess that rain that we got, we got six tenths of rain, I guess it cooled down the ground so much or something, I don't know, but. Hopefully it heats up. Usually we, when we change a package like this, we have to do it during the summer when it got so hot and the water level drops during the summer. And I take my shirt off and leave the water on you get all wet it's fun but today would be a little bit nippy So the package that I took out was also a 450 gallon package and the package that I put in just barely was, wow I sound like an old man, uh, yes, if you look here, it says it right here, 450 gallons per minute at 20 psi is what that package was doing. But I guess, and now that I started it, now, now I started my system back up with the new tips that I put in there and I was at 42, 43 pounds of pressure and I was running the wells at a higher pressure which would mean there would be less water coming down the pivot. So my only, the only explanation I can think of is these old tips were worn out, the holes maybe or out bigger from from all the water going through it all the time because the same amount of pack well the one that I put in was a 452 rated gallons per minute and it was running at 43 pounds and I had squeezed the wells high I had to squeeze the wells higher than I did with this package and it's also 450 and they and I was only having about eight to nine pounds of pressure with these tips. And now I have 43 pounds with these new tips. So I don't know what, what that was. I'm guessing that's the only explanation there is. But fixed the problem, so I'm happy. And now I'm home, so I'm going to go eat some lunch. Maybe get some ramen noodles and soup. I mean, ramen soup and some sandwiches. And I got a new toolbox put on my truck. It's pretty awesome. It's a weather guard, opens up real cool, got some tools in there already, got my 
Dewalt bag and some some tools. It's so empty yet, but I'm gonna buy a bunch of tools and put them in here and use that. So gonna grab some lunch now and the wind complete pretty much completely died down. It's about as calm as it can get. And then after lunch, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I don't know if I'll film that or not or end the video right here. So, yeah.